I got in and sat there scheming while the dickhead flashed me smiles. Told me he was back from sessions with a load of brain dead hacks. Told me he made no concessions to the boot boys and the blacks. Said he thought they were stupid fuss about rapists on the news. Bloke was only playing Cupid. Girls like that, they don't refuse. Asked me if I, if I thought he meant it. <coughs> Asked me if I bore a grudge. Told me that he came from Henley. Said he was a high court judge. Asked him to stop a second. Need a slash, that's what I said. When he did the anchor betting, and I smacked him in the head, took the keys and took his money, crashed the car into a ditch. Though he moaned, they'll get you, Sonny. Got away without a hitch. Mm -hmm. I don't think they'll ever find me, because I'm many miles away. But if one day they're right behind me, I know what I'm going to say. He asked for it! He's rich and snobbish, right wing, racist, sexist too. Brain dead, stupid, sick and slobbish. Should we locked in London Zoo? He wanted me to beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> education. Late at night he picked me up. An act of open provocation. High court judges are a blight. They should stay home with nice warm beds. And if they must drive late at night, you'll never pick up Harlow Reds. A five pence fine is right and proper. And to sum up my defence, it was his fault he came a cropper. Contributory negligence. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah.